I made this tutorial to satisfy the wish of some of you who have asked me to explain how to slap the Coca-Cola logo onto the bottle. To be honest, I overlooked this explanation because I thought it was not needed, but based on your comments, it seemed that it, was not, it wasn't clear. Also, some of you had issues with rendering, so I'll show you how to do that. You can use AutoCAD to work with images, but they are not treated as images. They are patterns you can use over and over. In any case, I'll explain how to do it using other software to make it better. Ok, let's go to modeling in 3D if you aren't there yet. With the render tab, go to the materials explorer. Let's suppress all of these. These are the ones we'll be using. The idea is to start from scratch. We leave global alone since it's the default. Make sure layer 4 is the one that has the logo. Choose a corazado as the material of the whole bottle without the layer. Let's bind or link the material. This is how it should look. Note these lines that cross to each other. To save time, you use low render. And the lines disappear. You can also double click on the material icon to delete their image. We can change that greenish color so it will match the container's color. However, it's not relevant. Let's create a new material of type Crystallera. Now you can choose an image that could be the Coca-Cola icon. You can download it from the net. When the layer is laced, notice that the previously created material has been renamed by default. Because we chose Crystallera, the effect is like being painted on glass. Also, the image is too big. I already tested it and I know 5 is the perfect scale. Well, definitely this is not what we want. Let's delete it. and create another material with a solid type like ceramic. Now give it a name. Select production quality. Open the image and I scale it and 
Mm, the size is perfect, but as I mentioned before, AutoCAD uses the images as repetitive patterns and truncate them at the edges. There must be a better way to do to slap an image using AutoCAD. If someone knows how to do it, just let us know. It would be greatly appreciated. That's why it's good to use an image editor like Photoshop. Let's find the bed's outline and angle to render our project. Start with low quality so we can fit the image even if it goes over the edges of the screen. Once you're okay, use presentation quality. I've been asked about this several times. Save the image. As JPG. And use maximum quality. Now move the logo from the layer so you can save it and edit it in Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, let's open our three files. Start with the one that has the logo generated in AutoCAD. We apply only an adjustment of HDR tone. Save it as JPG with maximum quality. Select the logo, copy and paste onto the image. Use Ctrl T to rotate it and put it in place. Load the layer opacity to work better. Click here to adjust it. Hit enter and change the layer fusion to multiply car. Right mouse button to combine down. Double click on the layer and apply an HDR adjustment. Play around with those controls until you get the desired effect.
save using the same characteristics of the previous image. So you can choose the best one. I'll apologize uh, for introducing uh, all the software to complete these images. It seems that some AutoCAD followers are not happy about it, but I think what's important here is to be proactive and use the tools available. So long.